guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel happy monday today we are going to be doing a massive pr unboxing like so big you might want to get a snack and a drink because we have so many new releases to go over as you guys may know i've been traveling a little bit and so I've had a little bit of a buildup with packages, which is definitely a problem that I'm okay having. So we're gonna be diving in, doing swatches. I just cannot wait to play. Like I've been looking at these packages, ready to dive in, and I'm just really excited. As you can tell, I love what I do. But anyways, a really quick before we do get started, a couple disclaimers. First off, I was eating a really nice steak earlier this week and bit down on the steak and also my lip. So it's still, still swollen so if you're wondering why my lips look sideways that's why number two i did get my eyebrows microbladed last week oh my gosh i'm so in love with them this is actually all microblading no no anything is on my brows right now it's just my eyebrows and microblading um they might end up looking a little flaky but over the next two weeks i'm not going to wear any products because i'm trying to like let them heal and everything so i just want to talk about that and then the third thing i was like all hyped to do my eyeshadow a little bit differently and I don't know, I don't have the best sight. And I went to show Snow my eyeshadow, which this one I totally love, but um, didn't realize you couldn't see this one when I was looking at you guys. So I try to like correct it and make it larger. And it just looks a little wonky. So this will be my good side for today. Anyways, okay, before we get started, okay, I'm talking so much. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I would love for you to stay around. So click that subscribe button. You probably know it's down below. I do post three times a week. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then the bell notification is key to know when I upload. All right. I'm excited to dive all up into this. So let's get started. First package came from NARS. And they sent over their Voyager eyeshadow palettes. And here is what it looks like. Very pretty. So there are four different palettes. They are available are they available? They're available now. Some of them are available at Sephora, and then I think another one is exclusive to Ulta. So here's the first one. This is the shade Nectar, right up my alley. Super pretty, neutrally peachy. It's just giving me all the vibes, and vibes that I like getting. So here are those shades. Also, in case I get any questions about what is on my eyes today, I did use the new ColourPop palette. I'm kicking myself in the butt for not doing a tutorial because I love the way this eyeshadow looks. But if you want one, just let me know. So here are those shades right there for Nectar. The next one we have is called Copper. Copper is obviously a lot darker and warmer. Very beautiful shades in it as well. NARS has really just been cranking out some products lately. And honestly, I'm not mad at all because I've been falling in love with so many products from them lately. There is Copper beautiful but yeah falling in love with some of their products here recently I'm like where's my makeup wipe the glosses i think have been like my prized possession though like really truly they are my love um i am actually wearing color pop glosses today but i don't know your girl's just been into glosses okay where's my towel yes i have a beach towel hanging out to dry off my swatches. Real classy. Next one we have is the shade Court. Oh, I was like, here it is. Okay, they all look the same. Okay, this one looks like it's all shimmers. Yes, really pretty. I like that these are kind of like mini because you can actually travel with them, which is nice. We love a good travel palette. And you guys, I'm going to be filming a, oh, look at that, like purple berry tone, giving me all of the vibes. I'm going to be filming like a chit chatty, probably testing out new makeup video soon. And I will talk about my microblading experience. A lot of people have been asking if I filmed it and I didn't. I don't know. I think I was so nervous that I don't even think that y'all would have wanted to see me on camera like that because I thought I was going to throw up. Um, I just get really, really nervous about things, but I'm so glad I did it. Last one is called Suede and Suede is more of like a cool tone palette. Um, to be a hundred percent honest, I don't really think I will get a ton of use out of this palette. So I'm going to save it for you you guys i'm working on this massive giveaway that's going to be coming up shortly <laughs> i have one that i'm going to be doing in april but then the very last one will be not last one but then the next one will be in may for my four-year anniversary and i'm trying to do four winners but like big winners you know so yeah that one's gonna be set aside for that thank you so much nars they also sent over two more palettes 
So this is called the Dare to Gleam, the Fever Dream Collection, available March 1st exclusively at Nordstrom. So we have two different palettes. I don't know why, I feel like my eyes are starting to water. Don't do it to me. Okay, the first one's called Wild Thing. Wild Thing. Dun, dun, dun. You make my heart sing. Okay, obviously it wasn't meant to sing. Let's see here. Ooh, look how pretty that packaging is. Love a good palette. Okay, so here is the first one. So you have a really pretty peachy blush and a highlight and then four really pretty neutral shades. This would be a really great palette to travel with. And then I'm gonna swatch the other one. The other one is called Lost in Luster. I think this one's the darker palette. So right now with me being tan, it would be much more up my alley. Okay, just kidding, it's not darker. So here's that one. And again, this is Lost in Luster. I'm gonna just swatch this for you guys. Ooh, that highlight though. It is beautiful. And the shades for the eyeshadows are really pretty too. So there are those. I didn't get a very good swatch of the blush, but there's that palette. I will try to use that. And then let me swatch the other ones because I really do like these shades right here. This one I think is the more deeper tone palette, but the highlight in here is just goals. Yeah, that's gonna be for the more deeper tones. So the deeper tone one in my opinion is going to be Wild Thing. And then the other one is Lost in Luster. I feel like it's a little bit lighter. So a big thank you so much to NARS for those packages. I cannot wait to try these products out. So thank y'all so much. Y'all just don't even understand what my floor is looking like right now. Next package came from two. Okay. Oh my gosh, my life is falling apart. The very next package came from Too Faced. Ooh, y'all, I had some of this in my cart because when that sale comes along, y'all don't even know the damage that is about to occur in my bank account. Where is the thing? That thing, that thing, that thing. This is me right now. A hot mess. Okay, so this is the Too Faced Pretty Mess Collection. It actually came out a few weeks ago, I believe. So you have a couple different things in here. You have a highlighter, you have some lip kits, you have a body shimmer, and then you have a eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is really what I was the most intrigued about. I saw it online and I thought it looked gorgeous. Okay. And it's so funny because all of these have like warning packages and it says tear if you dare. So here's what the packaging looks like. And this is a collaboration as well with Erica Jane. The club queen, they say. Ooh, look at this packaging. So pretty mess palette. Oh, this speaks to my soul. Like, honestly, I love these shades. And like the shimmers look so pretty. I'm just gonna take a moment of silence really quick to just like admire this. It's so pretty. Okay, so this one is called Queen E. I think this is like, yes, like the one shade that I truly love from the depths of my soul. There's like a couple palettes that I have that has a, a eyeshadow just like that. Then you have that one right there, which is called Whatever, Who Cares? Okay, here's the glitter shade. Let's see, it says Worth Its Weight. Yes, yes, yes. And then we're gonna do So Rodeo, which is just a, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to smother this on my eyes. Okay, let's swatch. Live swatching for y'all. And then, mm, that is a beautiful, Okay, let me swatch a couple more shades. I'm so excited about this. Now the glitter, obviously, like, I mean, it did really good when you first swatched it, but I didn't have a ton of it. That's gonna be something that you obviously have to like pack on. Oh, okay. Sex extravagant. Okay. Party people. Two beautiful shades. Private Jet Setter and Rich is Better. We'll swatch these. These shadows just look really, I feel like Too Faced has really just been stepping up their game here lately. Beautiful. Really stepping up their game, I feel. Um, because a lot of things that they've released lately, I've really, really enjoyed also. Which is, there's another thing I'm gonna have to tell y'all about too that's in here. I'm such a nerd. Like I literally get so excited about palettes. Okay, Pretty Mess Too Faced. Oh my gosh, I expect that to be on my eyes probably later this week because it definitely has to happen. Okay, so there's that. And then we have this highlighter. How many Fs do I give? Okay, Money Honey High Impact 
highlighter. Oh, ooh, look at this. It has like a big money symbol. Woo! Woo, again. Oh, this beauty is blinding. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That needs to be on my face. Y'all know I always say that and like I literally never have a highlight brush up here. What is life? I need to get myself together. I'll just have to do it in a video. Very excited about that. Oh my gosh, why are people not like screaming to the rooftops about this? Well, they might be. I just might not have looked at reviews yet. Really, really pretty. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. I don't even want to tell y'all the name of this body shape. We're just gonna put that to the side. Okay, then we have DSL is the name of these um, lip products. Oh my goodness, it is literally so sparkly. Okay, I don't want, I don't want to mess up my lips today. Okay, we will have to reconvene at a later date and try on these. So that's DSL and then Polite. Polite is more of a let's see here. Ooh, like a peachy pink. Oh, with glitter. Drop a heart emoji down below if you want to see this reviewed. I did actually ask y'all on Instagram, if you want me to be real honest, I did not go back in time to see what the results were, but originally a lot of people were saying yes to it. Ooh, I love this. And this is a lip injection, instant long-term lip plumper. Mm hmm I'm about this life. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Too Faced. They also sent over one other package, which I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I tried it, I had to, I could not wait. So this is the Too Faced, the world meets sexiest power couple, better than sex, Easy Glide waterproof liquid eyeliner. Let me say this, this is your new eyeliner. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't even know how to describe it. So it says, introducing the first eyeliner worthy of the name Better Than Sex. It's a cut and edge liquid eyeliner that was developed to be the easiest that you've ever used that creates a sharp, fluid, smudge proof line every time. Last 24 hours, yada, yada, yada. Wow, wow, let me just say that. Here's what it looks like. Another thing is I also totally missed my wrist when I self tan. Okay, so it kind of looks like the mascara, right? I don't even know how to put into words like what makes this so easy, but first off, the tip on it is just like, <laughs> It's a very long. So whenever you're gliding, like you can put it down, but already be like halfway through your, like to your eye. It is super, super dark. And you can just like create the smallest, thinnest lines because it's so thin. But I just loved it. I mean, honestly, it made my wings so easy today. And it's really, really flexible. You know how like a lot of times the felt tip eyeliners are like not not harsh, but they don't have any bend to them. They're just very like, you just lay it down and move it. This one like really moves around, which I think makes it even easier. So I'm really excited. I kind of want to compare this one to like the Benefit one because I know those are two that recently released. But I love a good felt tip liner. That's the kind of eyeliners that I use. I typically use the Smashbox one, but we're going to like maybe compare this with the Smashbox because I really, really like this one. I used it just today. Only today. Disclaimer. Okay. All right. Next things from It Cosmetics. This is actually another thing that I use now. I've only used it twice because I wanted to try to start testing it out for you guys. But this is the new Confidence in a Foundation. 48 shades. It's your custom shade range. I am so glad. Just like, thank you, It Cosmetics, for getting on board and like just expanding the shade range. I mean, I just think that is so great that they did that. And a new foundation too. Like, I think it's excellent. So anyways, the top part of this came with a bunch of different shades. I don't know what shade I'm going to be now that I'm self tan, but... Here's what it looks like. It's supposed to be long wearing, weightless, and full coverage. And it is definitely full coverage. I'll have to keep you guys updated on my thoughts. It's a matte velvet finish. And you know, one thing I realized about me is I really should start like taking powders and stuff with me to work because I leave the house at like 7.30ish and sometimes I won't get home until like 6.30 or 7. So it's like, you know, 12 hours later, and I cannot expect for my stuff to last that long without touching up, you know? I don't know if y'all have this problem, but literally I'll come home and it's like this side of my face has been eaten by like a foundation monster. Like, I don't even know what happens. Like it just eats away. A am I the only one? I don't know. Okay, so then underneath they have this really cute little set of things. So the first thing they have here 
is the Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone. This is for aging skin and it's a moisturizer. Y'all, it is a pink moisturizer. Look how pretty. It is so beautiful. I need to roll these sleeves because honestly, I'm getting a little hot in here. Okay, then next thing that we have ooh, is a Confidence in a Neck Cream. I'm going to have a tight neck. Confidence in a Neck Cream. So it's a transforming, rejuvenating, and firming super cream for the neck, the decollete, and the chest. We have a Confidence in a Gel Lotion. <laughs> That's where I miss my self tan. Uh, we have the little rolling thing for the skin to, you know, roll the products into the skin. And then lastly, we have this brush. This is the, uh, oh, this is kind of different. It's like, you know what I feel like this brush would be good for? Contouring. Like, I know it's supposed to be for the foundation, but there is the brush. So, a big thank you to A Cosmetics for that awesome package. I cannot wait to use everything. I am a little bit nervous to use the Confidence stuff because a long time ago, I used to use the Confidence in a Cream moisturizer. And at first, I really loved it. Like, I loved how it went on. It was very thick and moisturizing. And like... One day I got in the car and I don't know if I just like went in too much with it But long story short it completely broke up my face and I don't know if it was that or if it was the confidence in a compact the foundation But I tried them both again, and they broke me out again Um, so I don't know which one it was and I honestly was to the point where I was kind of scared because I broke out on like hives So, um, but I definitely want to give it a try because so many people love the confidence in a cream line and like I said, I really enjoyed the confidence in a cream cream when I had used it, the lotion. But yeah, thanks so much, It Cosmetics, for that wonderful package. And I'll be keeping you guys up to date about the foundation. So far, I did actually like it. Next thing came from Octoly. And first a beauty. And it says, Hayden, y'all hope you enjoy your fabulous new primer. So this is the new primer from First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. Safe for sensitive skin. Love First Aid Beauty for sensitive skin. You guys know how much I talk about them. My mom, like this is one of the only brands she can use. So here's what it looks like. On the back it says, apply an even layer over the face, follow up with makeup or wear alone. But it's an oil-free primer that helps hydrate, brighten, and lock makeup in place. So I will definitely have to try this out and keep you updated. But a big thank you to Oxley and First Aid Beauty for sending it over. Okay, next package is actually my boxy charm for this month. I have not opened it up. Up yet so let's see what we got okay first thing we have are some moda brushes this is the moda powder and soft glow two different brushes that you get oh oh i ripped it dang it i was gonna save this for you guys for giveaway but hopefully y'all won't mind a little bit of a ripped package Ooh, these are really pretty you have a soft glow blush to highlight the planes of the face and then the other one is a powder brush not believe I ripped that. Next thing we have is from Manacar Beauty. This is a Bloom Volumizing Mascara. We have the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. We have an Ofra Liquid Lipstick, and this is actually like a metallic liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Monaco. Look how pretty that shade is really pretty last but not least the thing i was the most excited about please please oh shoot i got the light one i was like please let me get the dark one okay this is the cover fx perfecter face palette cover fx has dropped quite a few products lately i feel like i've really been looking into getting their primers i really there's like four or five different ones that came out and they look really interesting so i definitely want to try them out so here's what this palette looks like it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so this is actually going to be another one that I'll save for you guys because I'm getting in this thing where I'm not going to be, like, swatching as much makeup as I, if I don't think I'm going to use it. Like, I really want to do more giveaways, declare my collection this year. There's, like, so much I want to do. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that for y'all. We have a package from Glam Glow. I actually just saw online at Sephora.com that they just came out with like a new cleanser, I believe. It looked very interesting. I cannot wait until I get to wash my eyebrows. It's like one thing that I'm excited about. Okay, so this is the new Glam Glow Glow Essentials Mask and Moisturizer Set. 
So as y'all know, I recently picked up two of their Glow Starter Moisturizers and I am so in love with them. They're so nice. So this has a clear clarifier mud mask, a firm, a hydrate, a detoxify, a brighten, and then the Nude Glow Highlight, and then the Nude Glow Moisturizer, $44, and it is a $86 value. So there's that. It is available at Sephora. And as you guys know, I always link all the stuff we talk about below so you can check it out. Okay, next thing is from Dermalogica. Okay, this is the Ultra Calming Redness Relief Essence. Okay, speaking of redness, if you guys would have saw my eyes earlier. So, I tried out the Anastasia Riviera palette. I just picked it up the other day at Sephora. And I've been so excited to test it out because I saw so many just beautiful, bright looks with it. And I don't know if y'all can see how much work I did into this palette. But, like, literally, it just didn't work out. I need to, like, do some more playing with it. But my eyes underneath this, they're like stained, like bright pink. So my eyes were like on fire taking it off. Okay, anyways, back to this. This is what I was mentioning, the redness. So this is a redness relief essence. It calms and restores balance to sensitive skin, lightweight like a toner, but concentrated like a serum. I think this would be really good for me, especially too in the summertime, like when you are red because you get a little bit burnt. I think that would be really nice. Thank you so much to Dermalogica for that package. Thank you to Glam Glow. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't forget anybody else. Thank you to everybody. I get in this like little thing where I just go off on a tangent about products. I get so excited and I don't want to forget to say thank you because I am so appreciative. Oh, Oh, first aid beauty actually sent over a package too okay so it says it's prime time baby yes Ooh. so it says we're all about that base that is so cute okay so it says hydrate prime and bright and mattify prime and blur hydrate prime and luminize so these two are the new ones so this one's the one i had talked about with octoly right here the hyaluronic hydrating one then we have this one that says matte and pore free. And it is always interesting to me, especially when skier, skier can, <laughs> skincare brands come out with primers because I would imagine that they would be really awesome since they're already used to like making skincare and a primer's like not part of your skincare, but y'all know what I mean. So yeah, three different primers from First Aid Beauty. Thank y'all so, so much for that package. And I'm excited to test these. I do have the coconut one and it's really nice. Next package actually came from Spa Sciences and this was sent to me through Octoly. I am so excited. So this is the facial exfoliation and hair removal system. So I think it was probably like a year ago. I kept seeing all these people talk about how they like don't shave their face, but you know what I mean? Like get off the peach hair and it, peach hair, peach fuzz. And it, you, it does make a huge difference, I feel like, especially when you're looking in your makeup because you don't want to like have your makeup all pretty. Sorry, this is kind of loud with me rumbling this. So you don't want to have your makeup all pretty and then you have like a bunch of hair. So this is supposed to like just scrape off, I guess, the uh, hair. So it says the Sonic Technology and SIMA Sigma, has been reported by an independent testing facility to prove the following results after one use. The skin looked more radiant, reported uh, the skin felt softer, smoother. It was simple to use. So it says it is a three-speed rechargeable derma planting device that harnesses the skin's smoothing power of a sonic technology at 15,000 movements per minute to instantly remove unwanted facial hair and build up in dead skin cells for a rejuvenated hair-free complexion. Yes, I'm about this life. Thank you, Octoly and Sima and Spa Science. Oh, and they like put a couple different ones in here. A couple different razors. That is so awesome. Thank you guys so much. This is definitely going to be getting some use because it's about time that I go, go in, fix my face. Make sure I put the instructions in there so I don't mess it up. Okay, tucking that away. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next package this came a little bit ago you guys i'm so sorry i'm a little bit behind like i said i'm packaging this so this actually came from acne free and what i thought was so freaking cool about it is they put these like workout things in in here so they put some like ankle weights my boyfriend saw these he was like oh yeah so they put ankle weights in here and then they put like resistant bands which i thought was super cute so it says acne free encourages you to tone up get it. Um, it says acne free is excited to announce the launch of the witch hazel mattifying toner. Care for your skin with this toner that rejuvenates, balances, and mattifies 
by removing excess old dirt and shine with the help of which hazel glycolic acid and aloe vera only $7.99 oh my gosh and you get a big bottle too so here's what it looks like but that's a really nice size it is 8.4 fluid ounces so thank you so much to acne free for that package that is so cool and they have this uh fitness thing that they gave me it's like a one month membership huh cool thank y'all so much okay next package came from essence it says x it says essence go for the glow. Ooh, okay. What all is this? So first thing we have is a nice water bottle. I'm like what is down in there? Hold on, let me see. That probably sounded so crazy. Okay, always set your bottle down on a flat surface after you drink or refill it for the most accurate tracking. This tracks your water bottle stuff. I got this water bottle and I'm trying to figure out how you do it it came with the battery but i think it tracks how much water you drink Does that's it cool it it? huh yeah will you will you tell me no. how to work it well not like this minute but i think that's what it means look oh look you get an app and you can find friends track your water okay so snow's gonna gonna figure that out for me they do say that your skincare not your skincare they say that drinking more water can help with your skin so um, it says, hey, Danielle, every beauty, every beauty should shine bright. Our new essence, go for the highlighter palettes, promise long lasting, head to toe holographic shimmer. Wear your favorite shade alone or a lit from within sparkle or layer for a mega watt glow. Ooh. Essence not only has great products, but they also, <gasps> oh no. I don't want to get it everywhere, y'all, but this is what the one palette looks like. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's, it's coming out. Okay, so here's what it looked like. It had like a green highlight in it. Let's, let's just like swatch the green because if I take it out, I have a feeling it's going to go everywhere. Ooh, look how pretty that green was. Ooh, let's see if we can get some of the pink. Pretty, very holographic-y. I hate when things break. Ooh, here's this one though. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's swatch this one. Yes, Essence. Ooh, la la. There, those are right there. So thank you so much to Essence for that package. And I'm really excited to try out that water bottle. <laughs> okay, next package, I'm not sure who this is from. Ooh, it's from Physicians Formula. Oh, it says, wake me for rose. Oh my gosh, I've really been wanting to wear that one from Too Faced. Oh, they sent me a couple weeks ago, but I'm scared because I don't want to like mess up my brows. Oh, okay. Well, I got a big head. Okay, so this is the Physicians Formula Rose All Night. Down with some bubble wrap. Okay, so it says ultra rich restorative cream. I wonder if it smells good. So wake me up when it's all over. Mm, it smells pretty good. Let's see what that moisture feels like. The only thing though is like, I would probably have to get down in this with a brush because the opening's not that big for me. Let's put it on the back of my hand. Let's see that moisture. You guys, my hand has been bruised. You might not be able to tell right here, well, yeah, you still can kind of see it. Dang, this feels good on the skin. It honestly feels, this is going to be crazy, but like, you know, like when you actually get a facial, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels really good. Anyways, I don't know how. Y'all might can see this bruise on my hand. I'm just like falling apart here. I literally fell into a table the other day when we were eating, like into a chair. And I was like, oh my gosh, my hand. Doesn't look as bad, but no, oh, there's a bruise there. Mmm, this smells good. Okay, yes, ma'am. It says, take your love for rose all day into the night. This calming, hydration, restoring, ultra rich night cream brightens and repairs skin, providing instant, deep, and long lasting moisturization. The cream is enriched with calming rose water, and you put it on for five to 10 seconds, press into the skin. I'm pretty sure that you leave it on all night. I would assume anyways. Thank you so much Physicians Formula for that package. Y'all, which one do I wanna do next? Okay, very last package we're gonna do is the Allure Beauty Box. And then I'll save the other packages for this week just cause I've been filming for like 40 minutes and I know I've been talking a lot. So I feel that this video is probably like 30 minutes long maybe, I don't know. Okay, so here's what this looks like. And it comes in this little thing right here, ooh. I see some Amika. First thing we have is the Anywhere Cream Multi Stick Natural Color. Ooh, it says grapefruit. I cannot wait until spring and summer, y'all. I'm just so excited. Ooh. Uh, ooh. 
I think you gotta gotta break it in a little bit. It'd be a beautiful blush shade. Very nice. Very nice. So rub it in. We gotta have a rose oil, a rose water toner. Y'all really need to check out the Allure Beauty Boxes because they are really good. We have the Microderm Abrasion Scrub from Derma E. We have a Belief Aqua Bomb, which is a really good. I've used this before. This is what I was excited about. This is the Amica Velvet Teen Dream Smoothing Balm. I wonder if it, oh. It will smooth my hair right now because my hair, my hair was looking a little frizzy because I just put a lot of, put a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells real good. So, you know how I told y'all that like, I like tried to use the Anastasia palette earlier and it was like a total, not, it wasn't a total fail. I ended up making it look good. It's just that I kept going into the freaking um, purple and the purple kept messing me up. I, I, I like this. But anyways, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I literally have pink in my hair. Like, in, in my bang from where... I like it was getting a lot of kickback, but it was so funny because then I was trying to do like an Instagram tutorial for you guys. I'm going to try to start doing that some more. And literally <laughs> I was like, whatever. I'll just film like me doing my face. And I went like this with primer and my whole forehead was hot pink. It was awful. And then last thing we have a seriously smoothing blue tansy night oil from a cure. So thank you so much to Allure for that package. I am very excited to use these products. I'm already liking this smoothing balm. I like the, I like the way it smoothed down my hair. I wish I would have had it at the beginning of the video. And yeah, you guys, I hope that you like this. I know I was a little bit chatty today, but gosh, I've missed y'all so much. <laughs> I love you. I hope you have an amazing week. Probably Wednesday, I'll put up my Makeup Forever uh, video. I did like a palette review, but it was before I went out of town. So yeah. My eyebrows weren't looking like this then. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Hope you have a fabulous week. Click the like button. Check out my other videos. And bye. <laughs>